Very difficult question. Very difficult question. Because ill at ease? Hello guys, and welcome back to the only series on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher fails at answering Japanese English entrance exams. So, today we are looking at Chuo University, and I'm very sorry if this uh, video comes out a few days late. For the last week I've been moving back to university. As you can see, this is not my normal room, this is my university dormitory, uh, my university room up in Birmingham, and it's very wet today which is a bit depressing so the lighting might be a bit bad but we'll see how it goes um, so as I said today is true university and we have 10 questions today and the objective is to find synonyms for a underlined word in the given sentence so you have to find a word that means the same thing or similar thing to the one in the sentence so Let's go straight into it. Question number one. In the great fire in the far in the great fire in the forest, the death toll of wild animals was appalling. Challenging, demanding, expanding, extending, and shocking. Uh, the answer here is E shocking. Um, they both mean well they both mean similar things appalling is terrible like really 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 bad uh, and shocking is very surprising um, but they both mean sort of very something uh, very bad or very surprising so e shocking question number two some kinds of birds have a natural ability to imitate human voices so natural we have curious native pleasing real or universal um, okay, I think the only one that makes sense here um, is D, real. Um, the others all mean different things. Um, I, s I suppose you curious makes sense, but it doesn't mean the same thing as natural, whereas real kind of does. Um, so I think the answer here is D, real. Okay, question number three. Convenience stores are often situated on busy intersections. Uh, situated is the word we have attached, located, requested, secluded, surrounded. Uh, the answer here is B, located. Situated, located mean exactly the same thing. They are synonyms, just two different words. Um, interesting point. Secluded means there's nothing around it. Secluded is very on its own. Surrounded is lots of things around it. So those two mean very different things. Um, just an interesting point there. So the answer is be located. Okay, question number four. My mother always closes the curtains so that the furniture and carpets are not damaged by too much glare. We have dirt, moisture, mold, mud, sunlight. Um, now here, this is more logical as well. Um, the answer is E, sunlight. The curtains are what you pull in front of your windows. Yep, to keep the light out. So you don't, it doesn't keep dirt. The windows keep dirt and moisture and mold and mud out. The curtains keep the sunlight out. So glare is light through a window and sunlight is, is light. Yeah, so the answer is E sunlight. Question number five. The mayor promised to build a new gym which the elderly and handicapped people will find more accessible than the old one. Okay, so accessible, we have approachable, comparable, generous, limited, used. Um, I th okay, I think the answer is A, approachable. Handicap people will find more approachable than the old one. Yeah, it, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's the only one that makes sense there. So, approachable. If someone, for example, if someone is approachable, then they are easy to talk to. You want to go and speak to them. Um, but 
in this case, it is the same as accessible. So the answer is A, approachable. Okay, question six. To the best of my knowledge, he is the most industrious merchant. Interesting sentence. So, industrious. Cunning, diligent, economical, practical, profitable. Interesting. Um, all of these words are adjectives. They could all be used in this sentence. Uh, the one that is closest to industrious is probably either practical or profitable. Either D or E. Um, and I would, at a guess, industrious. What does industrious mean? It's like good at working out. I, I would say practical, I think. The most industrious merchant. Probably the most practical merchant. But it could be C, D or E. But it's probably D or E and I think practical is the one that makes most sense here. Question number seven. The event created a great deal of friction among the residents in the town. Friction. Communication, competition, confidence, conflict, consensus. Lots of C's. <laughs> um, okay, the answer is D, conflict. Conflict is um, like fighting with somebody, not agreeing with somebody. Um, if you have an argument, you are conflicted. Um, and friction in this case also means like not quite getting along, not being friends, being uh, aggressive, being angry. So here uh, it will be D, conflict. So question number eight. There is little doubt that the leadership had an obligation to disclose the information. So we have disclose, acquire, assess, publicize, utilize, withhold. In this sentence, disclose means to tell the public, okay? So if uh, the UK government, very topical, if the UK government disclose documents about Brexit, then they tell the, the, the public information about Brexit. So here, um, the answer would be C, publicize you publicize something you make it available to people they can see it they can read it um, and yeah that means the same thing so the answer is C publicize question number nine critics accuse the government of giving in to major corporation demands um, giving in to phrasal verb fairly easy so we have Benefiting from, depending on, objecting to, persisting in, and yielding to. Uh, and the answer here is E, yielding to, because they both mean to do something that someone else wants. If they're pressuring you, they really want something, and you give in or you yield, you say, fine, I will do it, I will do it. And finally, question number 10. In contrast to the last time, he felt ill at ease at the party this time. Ill at ease. So we have delighted, exhausted, isolated, relaxed, and uncomfortable. Very difficult question. Very difficult question. Because ill at ease is a really interesting um, chunk of words. It is very rare to find them together. Um, but what it means is that he doesn't feel very happy at this party. Um, but in contrast was last time he felt great, but this time he's ill at ease. He's not, he's not at ease very often, which means he is uncomfortable. So the answer is E, uncomfortable. And I think that is all of the questions for Chuo University. It is. Thank you very much for joining me this week and hopefully I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Take care.